Hey guys, today we're going to do a pregnancy test on Audrey here with my preg tone. Now, full disclosure, I do already know that she's pregnant. Um, I just forgot to do uh, the video when I initially did a preg check on her with this, so I figured better late than never. Um, as always, I have my useless assistant Cheryl here to get in my way and do nothing but drink my vegetable oil, but you know, we each have our jobs. So, Audrey was bred the beginning of November, and she is actually, at this point, nine weeks post-breeding. So, you can actually already see that she is pretty early starting to develop a nice little baby bump here. And um, it is still early enough, though, that the preg tone is still effective. Um, you can start testing with goats uh, 30 to 40 days post-breeding. That's the sweet spot where you will start to see um, some amniotic fluid development for the uh, ultrasound to detect. And before that, there isn't enough. And then when you get really late in their cycle, um, their gestation cycle, that's when uh, babies are really filling up the uterus and there's not a whole lot of fluid left to detect. So I have her eaten on the stand. Now the first thing that I need to do with her that I did not have to do with Big Marie is I need to shave a spot. Um, and what you want to do is you want to go right in front of their back leg and essentially in front of their udder. Now, try to show you here. You want to, I, I have found that the best spot on her is really almost under her leg and then up. So it's going to be it's kind of on her side, but also tucked under her leg. And to be completely honest, I just shave a, a fairly large spot because when you're testing early, uh, that fluid is really difficult to detect. And, um, you know, it, it's nice to have a lot of space to move your probe around and not have to worry, worry about it. So I got a nice spot shaved. Um, you definitely want to shave it down to bare skin. That will allow you to have direct contact uh, with her skin and give you the most um, or the best results. So, turn this thing on. It is set to goats. Now, when I did, did it with Big Marie, the Preg Tone multi-species actually comes set for pigs. And the way that you change that is by removing the screw here and then there's just little jumpers in the back that you have to move and it comes with instructions on what the goat setting is based on the size of the goat as well. So we make sure that she's topped off with food here. Cheryl keeps taunting her, as always. All right, so machine is on, and this is just vegetable oil. Um, you just, any kind of oil that will make contact I use vegetable oil because it's cheap and I don't eat vegetable oil or cook with it, but it's cheap and it makes a good uh, fluid for doing this. So I'm just going to start putting it on her skin. And with me, I found that you really need a lot of oil to, uh, to make contact. So don't hesitate to really lay it on. Now, same situation goes with goats as it does with pigs. Their bladder's in the back, their uterus is towards the front, so you don't want the probe like this, you want it more like this. You're angling it towards her front shoulder. Now, because she is very pregnant, I'm immediately getting um, a reading. That solid tone means that she's pregnant. Uh, and there's no question, I mean, she's got this lovely little belly going on right here. Uh, it's starting to get you know, pulling away from her body, and I've actually been seeing some baby movement already, which is insane because it, it's, it's very early, which is making me question how many she might actually have in there. But um, the, the solid tone means that she is pregnant, and if I were to say, let me try to point it somewhere where I can get, yeah, I can't, I can't get a regular beeping um, because she's just so pregnant. So, uh, if you watched my Big Marie video, though, when I was doing a preg check on her, the beep, 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 that uh, just means that you are making contact. 
and it isn't until you get that solid tone that means that it is detecting amniotic fluid or like I said you got to be careful about that bladder but if you're pointing it towards the front then there's no way you're gonna hit the bladder I mean I, I don't even have to look I'm just hitting it every time because she's pregnant <laughs> So, very good news, uh, as always, and we're very excited. Audrey is the first to kid. Um, she technically has two due dates because she was bred twice the same week, and she is due March 30th is her first uh, due date because she was, that. well, that would be 145 days, first bred date. But um, if she she could go, you know, before that, if she's early, or she could go after that. But March 30th is when I'm first expecting. So after her, um, Ruby, I can do an ultrasound in a week and a half to test to see if she is pregnant. And uh, she has not gone into heat yet, so that's a good sign. And then Allison, I still have several weeks before I can test her because uh, she was only bred about a week and a half ago. So... Uh, stay tuned. Sure to have lots of babies on the way, which is always exciting. Uh, starting with Big Marie in February and then followed by Audrey.